if you don't have a large, luxurious walk-in, Pinterest perfect pantry, don't fret it. Our next speaker needed to expand her kitchen pantry in a way that would keep it tidy and organized. And if you would like to organize your pantry to its full potential, then you might want to lend an ear. I know I will be listening. This is her writing a speech with a purpose project. Let's hear about her pantry. Welcome, Arlene. Friends, I want you to know that I had three or four songs about pantries picked out, ready to sing for you. But alas, my dentist appointment being what it is, my mouth being numb, I was afraid I would bite my lip. So I'm afraid you'll have to do without my singing tonight. Now, if you happen to be one of those people who have a large, big, beautiful, bright, walk-in, Pinterest-ready pantry, I just want to say I have a severe dislike for you. This is not my pantry. <laughs> this was my dream. This was my inspiration. Something bright where I could walk in, see everything, find everything. Everything is organized. There is nothing so horrific in this room. But alas, that was not to be. Can I get a poor baby? Let me hear you say it. Poor baby. Thank you, Sunday. I heard that. <laughs> this is the reality. It's three foot by three foot. It is nothing but a closet. Can I get a poor baby? Poor baby. I know. This closet is three foot by three foot. The shelves in it were 36 inches deep. I could not see to the back. I could not reach to the back. My arms are not that long. I would stand on my tippy toes trying to see in the back. I would be screaming at Charlie, reach that for me, please, please reach that for me. And he would say, lady, get a ladder. I knew I needed a new pantry. It was inefficient. It was dark. Things in the back always went to the back and got lost. Things back there that got lost got too old and got too ruined and I couldn't use it. It just simply did not fit my needs. Now I have three tips that I would like to give to you to help you maximize your pantry space just in case you need a wee bit more. The first is to use adjustable shelves. That way, every inch of space can be utilized. And don't make them deep. Don't make them so deep that things get lost back there. 12 inches is plenty. Next, use bins. As you look at all those Pinterest stories, you'll notice how many times they use buckets and baskets and bins of all sorts because they corral your stuff and keep like items together. And finally, Rethink the space outside of the pantry because there might be some items you can actually remove from the pantry, giving yourself more room for what you need in the pantry. This is as close as I could get to my inspiration in a three foot by three foot closet. Now, I know that this picture is a bit overwhelming. We're going to break it down and look at it wall by wall. I know. It's what you always wanted to do, right? Look at my pantry wall by wall. This is the back wall. Do you see those big, beautiful, luxurious bins? Oh my goodness, I am in love with them. All of these bins came from the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree where everything is $1.25. It used to be a dollar, but you know, with inflation, things happen. Can I get a poor baby? Poor baby. Oh, at last. Thank you so much. These bins are plastic. They're easy to clean. These bins are the perfect size. 
They let me fill everything up just exactly the way I want and to the maximum that I'm able to store. Now, Rick has put a chat up, which means that I can't grab my control. There we go. Thank you for that, Rick. Look at this label. I like to use white duct tape and a big black Sharpie so that I can make my labels as big as I like them. And that way I can see from clear across the room what's in each of my bins. I like bins because I like the way it looks. I don't feel overwhelmed by a messy hodgepodge of stuff when I open the door. And if I have guests in the kitchen and I have to get into the pantry, I'm not all embarrassed about the way it looks. The bins and containers that I use, they're like drawers that I can just pull out and dip into and see what's inside. And it makes it much easier to maintain my organization when I just plop everything into a bin. And if I need to reorganize something, I can just do one bin at a time. I can do one shelf at a time because, my goodness, trying to dump everything out of the pantry and organize the whole pantry, well, that's just painful. There ought to be a song about how painful it is to dump the whole pantry out. It would take me two weeks the way I get distracted on my projects. As I said, I removed three foot deep shelves and replaced it with one foot deep shelves. So obviously I needed a few more shelves. This is the left wall. And again, I put adjustable shelving on there. And as you can see, more bins for the Dollar Tree. Can you see how I have a Dollar Tree fetish? That's my one and only fetish. These make it very easy to store all of the smaller things. My home canning jars fit perfectly on here. They're only four inches deep, so they don't take up a lot of space, but it allows me to see everything well because nothing gets stuck to the back. Nothing gets pushed way back into the dark crevices. This is the other wall. Now, I didn't have enough room on this wall to install adjustable shelves, so what I did was I removed the drywall and I used the space in the cavity between the studs. This was space that previously hadn't been used. This was new space, fresh space, and it again is perfect for all the little things, all the bottles and potions and sprays, and I took this photo here just for Cynthia because I know that Cynthia, just like me, loves her tea. And all of these containers, where did they come from? Let me hear it. Where did they come from? You know. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Yeah, you got it, baby. I love that place. You know, you, you can spend all of $30 in the Dollar Tree and just come home with a wealth of information, a wealth of merchandise, and a completely reorganized pantry. And for me to have all of my teas separated and I can see them and I just reach in and grab what I need, it is just dang near perfect. Now you might notice this weird looking chain hanging down in the middle of my photo. And the reason is because after I took out those big, deep shelves and replaced it with these smaller ones, I actually have space, space to install a light. Oh my goodness, it's light, it's bright, it's wonderful. I can see everything. And I have a big, long string that I can just pull to turn it on and turn it off. Now, Charlie does have a tendency to leave the light on and close the pantry door, and that has been my uh, discussion a time or two for us, but we'll forgive him for his sins. Now, I know that most of you probably already use your doors for storage, so we're not going to talk a lot about that. I don't think there's anything new here, but what is new is this. I had this weird little wall right outside the pantry. It was useless space. It's a high traffic area from the pantry to the oven. You really couldn't put anything there. You couldn't take up any floor space. So what did I do? 
I took the drywall right off the wall and built in shelves into the void cavity between the studs. And I put these jars in there. Now these jars, they are freaking awesome, let me tell you, because I could take all of that stuff out of the pantry. In these jars are my beans and my pasta and my rice, all of the dry stuff. In here are baking powder and baking soda and a lot of the baking goods. And here is every little thing that I use on a regular basis just makes it easier to reach and grab. I don't even have to go to the pantry. Why, the other night I was cooking dinner. I said, yo, Charlie, my man, reach over there and grab me the garlic. He didn't even have to get out of his seat. He just rolled right over to the wall, pulled out the jar, rolled right over to the oven, put it in my hand, and we were both happy campers. Again, three ways to maximize your pantry. I hope that this has given you some ideas in case you need a wee bit space, Madam Toastmaster.